This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with the Electrolux double oven with the F10 error. It just keeps beeping and beeping. It's overheating due to a bad relay board that we're going to change. So first we're going to unplug it or more, more likely turn off the breaker. You're going to make sure you have no power coming to it. We're just going to remove these oven doors. We're going to pull back on the latches and then lift up on the doors to get them out of there just to make it a little bit lighter because we need to pull the dishwasher out I'm sorry the oven out toward us by a few degrees to get to the relay board so I'm going to remove this Phillips head screw that's holding it into the cabinet and this one just has one but there might be one on the right side also there might be a couple at the bottom so just check this one only really had one holding it in in the upper left so once you get it out, you could take a standard head screwdriver just to start to pry the whole double oven away. You just want to get the top out by about maybe one foot. So it's going to come out at a bit of an angle. And then we're going to take off these the lower oven door also just to make it lighter. And then we're going to take out some of the racks because as we tilt it forward, we don't want stuff to come flying out. You want to be careful when you're tilting this forward. Just take your time. You want it to come forward so that you can work on it, but you don't want it to suddenly come forward at you and fall on you, and you don't want it to come slamming back. So just go slow. Maybe have someone hold it for you while you replace the relay board. It doesn't take too long. So I'm getting these racks out. Again, because I'm going to tilt it, I don't want them to fall out. These just lift up and slide out. So in this one, the um, we're going to pull it out toward us. The uh, broil element was stuck on full blast because the relay was just locked in the full arm position. So every time you turn the oven on, the broil just goes full blast. The F10 kicks in and it starts beeping and beeping until you turn off the breaker. So we're going to remove this upper panel in the front. Really easy to do. It's just got uh, four or five Phillips head screws holding it in. And right underneath is the relay board. And to take off the relay board, there's a few screws that hold it on. And then you just have to remove all of the wires. There's a lot of wires, a lot of modular wires that are hooked in. So it's just a matter of uh, putting in the new board and putting the wires back. So I'm going to lift out this sheet metal cover, and then there's the relay board right underneath. And I'll take some pictures before I take it out of where the wire connectors go. Just take a series of them. And now I'm going to take um, my needle nose pliers, I'm going to pinch in and then lift out all these connectors. Take your time, make sure you don't damage it. Here's a couple of pictures of the wires and the connectors that I took. And you just pinch in either with your fingers or with the needle nose pliers and you can, you can wiggle these off. Some of them are kind of hard to get off. So we exchange the board. We're gonna put the cap back on, put the screws back on and then we're going to just wiggle the whole oven back in. And then what I do is I lay down and put my back up against something and then using my feet I push the whole oven back in. It's pretty heavy but your legs are strong so you can easily push it with your feet. Maybe not with your arms. So we got it all back in and then we just got to put that screw back in to hold it. This one again just had one Phillips head screw in the upper left. So we got that. We're going to put the doors back on, put them in, get down 90 degrees, and then push the latches forward again on both sides. Make sure the doors will shut. Got the lower one, do the upper one. And while I was at it, I decided to also change the temperature sensor. So pretty easy. I just got to zip off these two Phillips head screws and then I can pull the old temperature sensor out. They can go bad after maybe five or six years so 
not a bad idea. They're pretty cheap to replace them, pretty easy. I'm going to pull out the wire connector. Take your time here, just go slow. And there's a little modular connector there. You're going to pinch in, pinch in on it and then separate it. Don't let it fall back into the cavity, though. This would be hard. It'd be hard to get out. You'd have to take the whole oven out. So we got the new one. I'm just going to click that in, push push everything back into the firewall, and then I'll put those two Phillips head screws in, and we're done. Zip those two back in, and we're doing great. No more F10. Got a good temperature. So I hope this helps you. And please subscribe when you get a chance. Thanks for watching.